Hi, this is the fifth episode of the Maps in React series, in which I show you how to create a map app with pop-ups, a sidebar, a visualization switcher, geocoding control, and 3D terrain. In this episode, I'll show you how to add 3D terrain, a customized base map, and labels above the data visualization layer. I'll continue with the code from the previous episode. You can get this code from my GitHub repository. The link is in the description below. To see the 3D terrain, I need a map style which has it visualized in some way. From the standard maps that MapTyler offers, the best options are the backdrop and outdoor map styles. I've chosen backdrop for this example. You can see it has a strong coastline and small labels. I've decided to customize this a bit to make it perfect for the exercise. If you'd like to know how to customize MapTyler maps, follow the link in the description below. To add a custom map, you need to know its ID. Go to your MapTyler Cloud account and select a map you want to use. Scroll to the vector style and copy its ID. Now paste it into the style of your map. Next, let's show the labels above our point data. This makes it much easier to use the map to determine where the point clusters are in the real world. All MapTyler SDK helpers have a shared option, Before ID, where you can put the ID of an existing layer before which the new layer will be inserted. To find the ID of this layer, I need to go to MapTyler Cloud again, and then click on the button Customize. Now I can go to the Layer tab and change from Blocks to Verticality, which orders all the layers on the map in the order they are drawn. Find the layer you want your data to be drawn on top of, but below all the others. In my case, this is Ocean Labels. Click on it, and then on the curly brackets button to open the JSON editor. Copy the layer ID. Again, it's Ocean Labels. To make the terrain actually 3D, just add Terrain True to the map. If I rotate the map a bit now, you can see that it is 3D. It's always good to have a control to disable the 3D terrain and return the map to a flat plane. This can be done by adding Terrain Control. Because terrain is truly visible only when the map is tilted, I will add a function that tilts the map when I switch on the terrain control. For the transition between the initial state and the terrain pitch, I'll use the map ease to function. If a map has terrain, I want to change the pitch to 60, otherwise change the pitch to 0 in the same duration. Let's check that. OK, I think the animation is a bit too quick. I can adjust that by specifying the duration. That's way better. Fantastic, that's the map finished. I hope you found these React tutorials useful. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. If there's anything else you'd like us to make a video about, leave a message in the comments below. Bye for now.